Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of EXW. This is Golden God 64 here, and as you can see, we are not in a regular arena full of Elimination Chamber Max, because if you know, for some odd reason, I couldn't just do an Elimination Chamber Max my arena, but that's not a p the point of today. Today we have an Elimination Chamber match with all these contestants. All these contestants are new. And all these contestants basically have their debut match in the Elimination Chamber. So let's see what goes down here. So pretty much if nobody really gets a pinfall, then that means that they kind of just lost their debut pretty much. But that's not the point. Let me introduce you to all these competitors. First of all, we have SpongeBob, the one and only annoying SpongeBob. Now, back in the day, you know, he was... He wasn't funny, but his shows were good. That's not the point. Next, we have SpongeBob against the Terminator. This is T2, I believe. Yeah, T2. Then we have Carnage and his pod from Spider-Man. We have somebody coming out, and this is the second person I was just about to know. This is the Terminator T2. Then we have Sub-Zero. And last but not least, we have the one and only Markiplier from YouTube. So now we have T2. T2 versus T1 going against each other right here right now. While SpongeBob just kind of in the background. Let's see who can win the Terminator fight. Oh, a nice power bomb onto the map by T2. And I guess T2 stands for Terminator 2. And oh, SpongeBob kicks out. SpongeBob is probably going to soak up a lot of damage during this match. Oh, a nice counter, a big punch by him just now. Oh, nope, nope, no, more punches. Oh, nice drop kick to by SpongeBob to T2. T2 doesn't seem even phased by it, just goes after T1 like he's his viral or something. Hint, hint. Anyway, SpongeBob with the humongous DDT to T2. Let's see if he can get the pinfall. Victory one. Only a one count. Barely a one count. SpongeBob's going against Markiplier, throwing Markiplier out into the steel outside of the ring. Alright, let's focus back in on the rings here, see how TU, up oh, TU, T1 and T2 are doing. It looks like T1 is handling the business with T2 right now, because T1 is pretty much dominating right now in this match. T1 has him up here, a nice little spine buster there, or whatever that was. We're just gonna call it a spine buster, because I believe that's what it is. And here he goes, T1 with his special move. Oh, a European uppercut, a big one at that. But the ref is focusing on Markiplier and SpongeBob, because Markiplier, it seems like he has some sort of headlock on SpongeBob. Let's see if T2 can take that advantage. One, two, three, this first pinfall of the night, T. Freaking one beats T2. T2 doesn't even have a pinfall. And a nice choke slam by T2. I mean, T1 to Carnage after Carnage just comes up. And he's swinging him around now. T1 is going ham. He is on fire tonight. Let's focus outside of the ring as Markiplier is pretty much dominating SpongeBob here. Going for another pin. One, two, one. Looks like Carnage just, you know miss barely miss the referee focusing on him as he was just now being pinned but now carnage looking to take t1 it's oh a nice big boot by carnage to t1 right to the head markiplier in the ring now with spongebob and spongebob is pretty much getting beat up this whole entire match but he's soaking up the damage as because he's a sponge get it you know you know i uh, okay. now here comes the one and only sub-zero now let's see what sub-zero does in the last exw match he won against t my bad i keep thinking of terminate right now in the last match his brother scorpion went against spider-man 2099 and wait a minute. Oh, SpongeBob almost got eliminated by Sub Zero right after he comes up and ends up kicking out. A nice running clothesline to the turnbuckles by Markiplier here. You now Markiplier going after Carnage. Carnage is holding up here, like I was saying. His brother Scorpion. I'm talking about Sub Zero, by the way. Sub Zero. His brother Scorpion. In, his brother Scorpion was in a match last time against. Spider-Man 2000 here, and he ended up losing the match against Spider-Man, so let's see what he can do in this match here tonight. 
looks like nothing's really happening here. Looks like, oh, T2 is going for a dirty pin here, but it's legal. One, two, and not with the three count, which is awkward because it looks like it could have got it. One, two, that count looked delayed to me by the referee, but maybe, maybe the referee has some sort of gimmick with SpongeBob. And now Carnage, I can see guards going after T2 here with a little slam. SpongeBob going for a 10. One, two, did he get it? He didn't get it. All right, now Sub Zero putting Markiplier one, two, only a two count, two counts here today. As you can see, Carnage just kind of sitting there in the back, not doing any action, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. While Sub Zero and Markiplier are having a good fight out here, SpongeBob is going against T One, and oh, with the zigzag by SpongeBob to Carnage, but now T Two, oh no, T One is not having any of that with Spongebob here today. I'm gonna call T1 Terminator now since he's the only one left and a double move to Spongebob. He just got a double team. That could be it for Spongebob. Let's see what happens. It's Terminator gonna go for the pin. Terminator with the pin here. One, two, three, no. I see Markiplier. I saw him hit that big punch earlier to Sub-Zero, but Sub-Zero still kicks out. sub is doing way better than his brother this match. A nice regular slam by Markiplier here. Markiplier running off the ropes and an elbow to the chest to Sub-Zero. Carnage is still waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Well, here, oh my god, Terminator. Is Terminator going to do another European uppercut? Markiplier goes for the pin, though. One, two... One, two, three. SpongeBob is finally out after soaking up all that damage. Now Carnage with the big super kick out of nowhere, waiting for his once to strike. One, two. Oh no, Carnage almost got his chance with that super kick just now. You almost took out the Terminator. He's eliminated two people so far. It's only come down to four people as it's Sub Zero, Markiplier, Carnage, and the Terminator. One. It looks like Carnage is taking down Terminator 1 right here. While well, Sub-Zero is going for the pin on Markiplier 1, 2, no, Markiplier is still in. Carnage going for the pin, 1, 2, 3, he's eliminated. Terminator is eliminated, that's probably the biggest threat in the match, he's now eliminated. Now Carnage is going for Sub-Zero, it looks like, and Carnage with the German suplex, helping out Markiplier here. He's going up for the top, but Markiplier says no, punches him off. Marf. I said Marf instead of off, my bad. <laughs> One take. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Alright, so anyway, let's get back to the match. Oh, Markiplier. The Cobra right to the face. That could be it for Carnage. One, two. No, another kick out by Carnage. Carnage is fighting hard in this match. He does not want to lose. And another slam by Markiplier. Off the ropes by Markiplier. And another big elbow drop to the chest. Now Sub-Zero out of nowhere. Oh, with a KO punch. That might be it for Markiplier. One, two. Three Markiplier's down. Now Sub Zero going after Carnage. Carnage. No, they're having a stare down now. And Sub Zero makes the first move. Carnage reversal. Punches him in the back. Let's see if Carnage can. Uh, elbow. Another elbow reversal by Sub Zero. Now Sub Zero with the oh uppercut. Another punch. A kick to the face. Oh my God! A nice European uppercut. While he was on the ground. One, two. Three, that's it. Sub Zero has won his first match in an elimination chamber. This is amazing. That was a great match. Enjoy these highlights as we get into the next match of the night. I can't believe what we saw in that match.
All right, we are back with our next match. This is a Fatal War four-way TLC match with Zami Zayn, Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, and Dolph Ziggler. Whoever wins this match can cash in their contract in this briefcase that is going to be held on top of the ring for any one of the titles, even the main ones or the side ones if they want to. All right. So as you can probably see, welcome to our new arena. This is official or our arena, the new flame arena that you saw in the other match. That's now going to be our pay-per-view arena with this being our basic standard arena this is now called the new lightning arena and the pay-per-view arena will be called the new flame arena so I'm just gonna get that straight and this match is already kicking off already with Zayn Zayn and Jeff Hardy just hurricane her hurricane Rana by Jeff Hardy and Dolph and Daniel Bryan are outside the ring but Zayn Zayn's beating up Jeff Hardy inside of the ring Alright, who do you want to focus on first? Any money, money, but let's just focus on the outside of the ring. That's where the concrete is. That's where we're going to be slammed in concrete. So let's focus on that. But it doesn't look like they're going to be outside of the ring for long, as it looks like Daniel Bryan is going for the first ladder in this match, which is somehow the only ladder that's there. First, some odd reason. Usually there's two ladders. So one forgot to put up the second one. So Daniel Bryan throws a ladder in the ring. Looking to end this match, he wants this contract. Dolph Ziggler wants this contract. So does Jeff Hardy and Zayn Zayn. Everybody wants this contract right away. And now. Let's get on to the match and his main purpose. Jeff Hardy with the DDT to Zami Zayn here. He's going back into action. And Dolph Ziggler punching Daniel Bryan over here. A reversal by Dolph Ziggler, though. I mean, Daniel Bryan, my bad. One take, like I said. An elbow. A punch, elbow punches, drop kick by Dolph Ziggler. There's too much, there's just so much stuff to cover right now. This is more than a freaking elimination chamber match. Uh oh, Jeff Hardy on the top rope. A hurricane runner from the top rope to Zami Zayn. If this was a pinfall match, Jeff Hardy might have won. Jeff Hardy setting up the ladder here. Not punching Dolph Ziggler. Jeff Hardy. Oh no. Oh my god. Hurricane Rana! Hurricane Rana off the top of the turnbuckle. This is awesome. Let's see what happens here. Jeff Hardy. Uh oh. Jeff Hardy. Oh. Alright, oh, missed that one. Got that. Trying to do some work here. But look at Zami Zay. Zami Zay! Hits! Oh my god, there's so much stuff going on in this match at once that I can't even cover it. Keep covering one person at a time. Sami Zayn just German suplex Daniel Bryan onto the barricade. But now Daniel Bryan is already back up and whooping Sami Zayn's tail for it. Now Jeff Hardy with the sin ton off for the top of, ro top of the rope. Jeff Hardy could be going for a ladder right now, but he has Dolph in the middle of the ring. So he can't even put up the ladder there. Headbutt with Jeff Hardy here. Let's focus on the outside of the ring again. See what they have brought in. But never mind because every it seems like every time I focus on the outside of the ring, somebody comes in and a big boot to the side of the head by Daniel Bryant to Zayn Zayn. Jeff Hardy has Dolph on the top again. Like last time. Is he going for another one? This time oh wait a minute. Super German suplex. A super German suplex by Jeff Hardy off the top of the rope. You would never expect this from Jeff Hardy. Because it's Jeff Hardy. He's a high flyer. We have Daniel Bryan just jumping outside the arena to do a quick little leg drop on Zayn Zayn outside of the ring. Now, oh! Dolph Ziggler with the German suplex on the ladder. His head bounced off the ladder and a super kick to Jeff Hardy by Dolph Ziggler. Now, Dolph Ziggler needs to get Jeff Hardy out of the ring so he can put up the ladder to get the briefcase. Is he gonna do that? Let's see what happens. Another, what an incredible another slam by Dolph Ziggler here. Dolph Ziggler could not get Jeff Hardy out of the ring. Looks like now he is throwing him outside the ring and going up there with him. Now let's focus on the inside of the match and see what Zayn Zayn and Dale Bryan are doing over here. And now it looks like Zayn Zayn's turning his attention to Dolph Ziggler and he gets hit with the ladder. Wow, that's just kind of. 
being Dolph. He's gonna hit Zami Zayn with the ladder when he turns around, but then Jeff Hardy sneaks up on Dolph Ziggler, getting a hit on him, and Daniel Bryan is kicking Zami Zayn after that ladder, and a last big kick to the head. Zami Zayn's out. Look out! Uh oh. Dana Bryan put Zayn Zayn out of the ring. He's outside of the ring with Dana Bryan's planning here. No, Zayn Zayn's gonna try to do off this work. Oh, springboard drop kick by Zayn Zayn. While well, Jeff Hardy sets up the ladder. Jeff Hardy picking up Daniel Bryan now. And now it looks like Jeff Hardy. Oh, hits his own move of his own. And now it looks like Daniel Bryan's out now. But Jeff Hardy, Zayn Zayn climbing to the top. From winning this one. Jeff Hardy pulling Zayn Zayn down from the ladder, but now Zayn Zayn putting Jeff Hardy outside of the ring and punching him outside of the ring and going with him while Daniel Bryan's inside of the ring with Dolph Ziggler and Dolph Ziggler slams Daniel, slams Daniel Bryan. I don't know what he's doing. He should go for the ladder right now. He's by himself. He needs to take Daniel Bryan out to get to that briefcase. He's throwing Daniel Bryan out and he's going for the top of the ladder. Is he gonna do it? Oh, Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn trying to get in the ring, is he gonna make it, is he gonna make it, oh, just barely doesn't make it in, now Dolph Ziggler has the title, you guys, if you guys don't know what this means, this means Dolph Ziggler can now cash in his title, he can cash in his title match anytime he wants to for any of the championship. He can cash it in on Kalisha, the world title, anybody. He can cash it in on anybody. That wasn't a good match. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.